I'm excited to be here with you today to talk about one of the most important topics in life, overcoming setbacks and staying on the path towards success. In today's message, we are going to discuss five powerful ways to overcome setbacks and keep moving forward towards your goals and dreams. I know firsthand how difficult it can be to face setbacks and challenges on the road to success, but I also know that with the right mindset and strategies, we can turn these setbacks into stepping stones towards our ultimate success. I want you to know that you are not alone in facing setbacks. We have all experienced them at some point in our lives. The key is to not let these setbacks define us or hold us back from reaching our full potential. By listening to this message, you are taking a powerful step towards turning things around and moving towards the life you truly desire. So get ready to take notes and implement these five ways into your life. I promise you, they will make a significant difference in how you handle setbacks and ultimately lead you towards the success you deserve. So let's dive in and learn how to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success together. Starting with number five. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one that is often overlooked and underestimated. The fifth way is to take action and persevere. Let me start by asking you a question. How many of you have faced setbacks in your life? I can guarantee that every single one of you has faced some form of setback, whether it be in your personal or professional life. It is a natural part of our journey towards success. The difference lies in how we respond to these setbacks. Some people let setbacks defeat them. They give up, they lose hope, and they allow their dreams to fade away. But I am here to tell you that you do not have to be one of those people. Instead, you can choose to take action and persevere. Taking action means not letting setbacks paralyze you. It means not dwelling on the past or what could have been. It means picking yourself up and moving forward. It means taking control of your own destiny and not letting anyone or anything hold you back. But taking action is not enough. We must also persevere. Perseverance is the key to success. It is the ability to keep going even when things get tough. It is the determination to never give up, no matter how many times you fall. Think of successful people in any field, business, sports, entertainment, you name it. They all have one thing in common. They have faced setbacks, but they did not let those setbacks stop them. They took action and persevered, and that is why they are where they are today. Let me share with you a personal story. Many years ago, I was a young man with big dreams and aspirations. I wanted to be successful, but I didn't know how. I faced many setbacks along the way. I failed at my first business venture. I was in debt, and I was struggling to make ends meet. But I didn't let those setbacks defeat me. I took action and persevered. I started reading books, attending seminars, and learning from successful people. I took every opportunity that came my way, even if it seemed small or insignificant at the time. And slowly but surely, I started to see progress. I started to see success. And here's the thing. Setbacks will always be a part of our journey. They are inevitable. But it is how we respond to them that determines our level of success. We can either let them defeat us or we can use them as stepping stones towards our goals. So how can we take action and persevere in the face of setbacks? Let me share with you three key steps. Firstly, we must have a clear vision of what we want to achieve. This vision will act as our compass, guiding us towards our goals. It will remind us of why we started in the first place and keep us focused on the end goal. When we have a clear vision, setbacks become temporary roadblocks, not permanent barriers. Secondly, we must have a plan of action. Taking action without a plan is like driving without a map. You may eventually get to your destination, but it will take much longer and be much more difficult. 
A plan will help us stay organized, prioritize our tasks, and keep us on track towards our goals. And when setbacks come our way, we can refer back to our plan and make necessary adjustments. Lastly, we must have a strong mindset. Our mindset is the most powerful tool we have in overcoming setbacks. We must believe in ourselves and our abilities. We must have faith that we are capable of achieving our goals, no matter how many setbacks we face. We must also be resilient and adaptable, willing to learn from our failures and use them to become stronger and better. Taking action and persevering is not easy. It requires hard work, dedication, and determination. But I can guarantee you that the rewards are worth it. When we take action and persevere, we not only overcome setbacks, but we also grow and become better versions of ourselves. Now to number four. The fourth way to overcome setbacks and keep moving forward is by seeking support and advice from others. We all face setbacks in our lives. It's just a part of the journey. But what sets successful people apart from the rest is their ability to bounce back from these setbacks and keep moving forward. And one of the most effective ways to do that is by seeking support and advice from others. You see, we are not meant to go through life alone. We are social beings, and we thrive when we have a strong support system around us. When we face challenges and setbacks, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and alone. But when we have people to turn to, people who can offer us guidance and support, we are able to face these challenges with more strength and resilience. So who should you seek support and advice from? The answer is simple. Anyone who has been where you want to go. Seek out mentors, coaches, and successful individuals who have faced similar setbacks and have overcome them. Learn from their experiences, their mistakes, and their triumphs. They can offer you valuable insights and guidance that can help you navigate your own setbacks and challenges. But it's not just about seeking support from those who have achieved success. It's also important to surround yourself with a positive and supportive network of friends and family. These are the people who will be there for you during the tough times, who will lift you up and encourage you when you need it the most. They may not have all the answers, but their love and support can give you the strength and motivation to keep moving forward. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have anyone to turn to for support and advice. I don't have a mentor or a strong support system. Well, my friend, let me tell you this. You are not alone. Many successful individuals have faced setbacks and challenges without a strong support system. But what they did have was the willingness to seek out support and advice from others. So if you don't have a mentor or a strong support system, it's time to start building one. Attend networking events, join online communities, and seek out individuals who have achieved what you aspire to achieve. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help. You'll be surprised at how many people are willing to offer their support and guidance. But remember, seeking support and advice from others is not just about asking for help. It's also about being open to receiving it. Many times, we may seek advice from others, but we are not truly open to receiving it. We may have our own fixed ideas and beliefs, and we are not willing to consider other perspectives. But I urge you to keep an open mind and be willing to listen to the advice of others. You never know. It may be just what you need to overcome your setbacks and keep moving forward. Another important aspect of seeking support and advice from others is to be willing to learn from their mistakes. Many successful individuals have faced setbacks and failures along the way, and they have learned valuable lessons from them. Don't be afraid to ask them about their failures and what they learned from them. By learning from the mistakes of others, you can avoid making the same ones yourself. But let me also remind you that seeking support and advice from others does not mean relying on them completely. Ultimately, you are responsible for your own success. Use the advice and support of others as a guide,
but make your own decisions and take action towards your goals. Don't let the opinions of others sway you from your path. Trust in yourself and your abilities and keep moving forward. Moving on to number three, and that is setting realistic goals and having a plan. Now let me ask you this. How many of you have set goals for yourself? I'm sure most of you have. But here's the thing, setting goals is not enough. We need to set realistic goals. Goals that are achievable and within our reach. You see, when we set unrealistic goals, we set ourselves up for failure. And when we fail to achieve those goals, it can be demotivating and can lead to setbacks. On the other hand, when we set realistic goals, we give ourselves a fighting chance to achieve them. And when we do achieve them, it gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivates us to keep going. But setting realistic goals is just the first step. The second step is to have a plan. You can have the most realistic goal in the world, but without a plan, it's just a dream. A plan is the roadmap that will guide you towards your goals. It helps you stay focused and on track. It gives you direction and helps you make the right decisions. A plan is what turns your dreams into reality. Now, let me share with you a personal story. When I first started my journey towards success, I had big dreams and goals. But I didn't have a plan. I thought I could just work hard and things would fall into place. But I was wrong. I faced setback after setback. I was struggling to make ends meet and my dreams seemed farther and farther away. That's when I realized the importance of setting realistic goals and having a plan. I sat down and reevaluated my goals. I made sure they were achievable and within my reach. And then I created a plan. I wrote down the steps I needed to take to achieve my goals. I set deadlines and held myself accountable. And slowly but surely, I started making progress. I was no longer just working hard, I was working smart. And before I knew it, I had achieved my goals and more. But here's the thing, setbacks are inevitable. No matter how realistic our goals are, we will face challenges and setbacks along the way. But that's where having a plan becomes crucial. When we have a plan, we have a roadmap to navigate through these setbacks. We can reassess our plan, make necessary adjustments, and keep moving forward. As the saying goes, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So how do we set realistic goals and create a plan? The first step is to know what you want. You need to have a clear understanding of your goals and dreams. What do you want to achieve in life? What are your passions and interests? Once you have a clear vision of what you want, the next step is to break down your goals into smaller, achievable steps. This will make your goals less overwhelming and more attainable. The next step is to set a timeline. Deadlines are crucial in achieving our goals. They give us a sense of urgency and help us stay on track. But make sure your timeline is realistic. Don't give yourself too little time to achieve your goals, but also don't give yourself too much time. Find the balance that works for you. The third step is to hold yourself accountable. This is where having an accountability partner or a mentor can be helpful. Share your goals and plan with someone you trust and ask them to hold you accountable. This will not only keep you on track, but also give you a sense of support and motivation. And finally, be flexible. Life is unpredictable and things may not always go according to plan, but that's okay. Be open to making adjustments to your plan when necessary. Remember, the destination may remain the same, but the journey may have a few detours. Now to number two, and that is to stay positive and maintain a growth mindset. Now I know what you may be thinking. How can something as simple as staying positive and having a growth mindset be the key to success? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it is not as simple as it may seem. In fact, it is one of the most challenging things to do, especially when faced with setbacks and failures. 
But I am here to tell you that it is possible and it is crucial for your success. So what exactly is a growth mindset? It is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed and improved through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. It is the understanding that we are not limited by our current skills or knowledge, but rather we have the potential to continuously learn and grow. And this mindset is essential because it allows us to see setbacks and failures as opportunities for growth and learning rather than roadblocks to our success. Now, staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset may sound like a walk in the park when everything is going well, but it is when we face challenges and setbacks that our true character is tested. It is easy to be positive and have a growth mindset when everything is going our way but it takes real strength and determination to maintain that mindset when things are not going as planned. So how do we stay positive and maintain a growth mindset in the face of setbacks? The first step is to reframe our perspective. Instead of seeing setbacks as failures, see them as opportunities for growth. As the saying goes, when one door closes, another one opens. Every setback is a chance for us to learn, improve, and come back even stronger. So, instead of dwelling on our failures, let us focus on what we can learn from them and how we can use that knowledge to propel ourselves forward. The second step is to surround ourselves with positivity. We become the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So it is crucial to surround ourselves with positive and growth-oriented individuals. These are the people who will lift us up when we are feeling down, who will remind us of our potential when we doubt ourselves, and who will push us to be the best version of ourselves. So choose your inner circle wisely and let their positivity and growth mindset rub off on you. Another crucial aspect of staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset is to focus on progress, not perfection. It is easy to get caught up in the idea of perfection, but the truth is, it does not exist. Perfection is an illusion that can hold us back from achieving our goals. Instead, let us focus on progress. Every step we take towards our goals, no matter how small, is progress. And progress, no matter how slow, is still progress. So, celebrate your progress and use it as motivation to keep moving forward. Lastly, it is essential to practice gratitude. When we are faced with setbacks, it is easy to get caught up in negativity and forget about all the good things in our lives. But practicing gratitude can help us shift our focus from what is going wrong to what is going right. Take a moment every day to reflect on the things you are grateful for, no matter how small. It could be something as simple as having a roof over your head or a supportive friend. Gratitude can help us maintain a positive mindset and keep us motivated to continue on our journey towards success. My friends, staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset is not always easy, but it is necessary for our success. As we face setbacks and challenges, let us remember to reframe our perspective, surround ourselves with positivity, focus on progress, and practice gratitude. These are the keys to staying positive and maintaining a growth mindset. I want to say it's an honor to share with you the number one way to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success. I have dedicated my life to studying success and personal development. I have had the privilege of learning from some of the greatest minds in history, and I have distilled their wisdom into simple, actionable steps that anyone can take to achieve their goals and live a life of abundance. The one way to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success is to reframe them as learning opportunities. Let me repeat that, reframe setbacks as learning opportunities. You see, setbacks are not failures. They are opportunities to learn and grow. Just like a muscle needs resistance to become stronger, we need setbacks to become wiser and more resilient. Think about it. Some of the most successful people in history have faced countless setbacks before achieving their goals. Thomas Edison failed over 1,000 times before inventing the light bulb. 
Walt Disney was fired from a newspaper for lacking creativity and went bankrupt multiple times before creating the iconic Disney brand. Oprah Winfrey was told she wasn't fit for television and was fired from her first job as a news anchor. These setbacks could have stopped them in their tracks, but instead, they used them as learning opportunities and kept moving forward. So how do we reframe setbacks as learning opportunities? First, we must change our perspective. Instead of seeing setbacks as failures, see them as feedback. When something doesn't go as planned, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What can I do differently next time? Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has faced failure, but they didn't let it define them. They used it as a stepping stone towards their goals. Secondly, we must take responsibility for our setbacks. It is easy to blame external factors for our failures, but taking responsibility means taking control of our lives. It means acknowledging that we have the power to change our circumstances. When we take responsibility, we can learn from our mistakes and make the necessary adjustments to move forward. Next, we must embrace the growth mindset. This means believing that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication. People with a growth mindset see setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve, while those with a fixed mindset see them as proof of their limitations. Embracing a growth mindset allows us to see setbacks as temporary and to keep pushing forward towards our goals. Another key to reframing setbacks as learning opportunities is to surround ourselves with the right people. We become the average of the five people we spend the most time with, so it is crucial to surround ourselves with positive, supportive, and growth-minded individuals. These people will lift us up when we are facing setbacks and help us see the lessons in our failures. Lastly, we must practice resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity and keep moving forward. It is a crucial trait for success because setbacks are inevitable, but how we respond to them is what truly matters. Resilient people see setbacks as temporary and use them as fuel to keep going. They don't let setbacks define them. They use them as opportunities for growth and development. In closing, setbacks are not the end. They are merely a detour on the road to success. The one way to overcome setbacks and keep moving towards success is to reframe them as learning opportunities. Remember to change your perspective, take responsibility, embrace the growth mindset, surround yourself with the right people, and practice resilience. These steps will not only help you overcome setbacks, but also propel you towards your goals and dreams.